Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for a new unboxing and review. Today it's another Marvel figure, Black Widow, the snowsuit from the Black Widow movie. So first, let's talk about the box. It's the same box design as the other figures from the Black Widow movie. I really like the Black Widow symbol window box, it looks so cool. Here you have the name of the movie, and there the name of the character. Since it's the snowsuit, you have a white box. On each side you have the Black Widow symbol, and at the back you have the usual product information. When you remove the first part of the box, you can get a full look at the promotional drawing of the character, and at the back you have a promotional picture of the figure. And there you can see the figure, so let's open this and take a look at the accessories. She comes with pretty much the same accessories as the other Black Widow figure from the Black Widow film. The color of the ends are obviously different and the display base as well, but the weapons are exactly the same. The display base is white because it's the snowsuit and you have a red Black Widow symbol with the name of the movie. It is a simple base, nothing too fancy. Then you get 10 hands, 2 fist hands, Two semi-open hands, two hands to hold the pistols, two hands to hold the batons, and two different open hands. There are two different types of batons, the normal ones and the articulated ones. And for each, you have three different types of tips, normal, stun batons and ice picks. You also have two baton handles to attach on the back. Finally, you have the two usual pistols and a third one with more accessories on it. So now, let's take a look at the figure. I really dig the white suit, it's a nice callback to one of our comic suits. On top of that, it's a change from the usual black suits. Design-wise, it has some similarities with our main suit from the film, but it is also different enough to be its own suit and not just a white repaint. The boots are two different pieces, so this means you have feet articulation, which can be great for poses. As usual with the pistols, you can easily insert them in the holsters like this. The wall suit uses the special type of fabric. I will say the same thing I always say for this type of figures, don't leave them in the same action pose for a long period of time, otherwise they will get damaged. Now about the head sculpt, it was made by Yuli Choi and painted by Chisi Hong. And I think that, as usual with Choi, this is another amazing head sculpt. This looks like Scarlett Johansson. On top of that, the sculpted hair is the way to go. It is beautifully crafted and it looks so much better than rooted hair. As usual with Hot Toys, it's all about the details. You have the little earring sculpted there. I only have praises for these head sculpts. Well done, Hot Toys, well done. The head and the neck are two separate pieces, which means you have a better articulation range. However, due to the your sculpture, it is limited. She can slightly look on each side. When you look at the head sculpt, it feels extremely similar to our two previous sculpts that were also made by Yuli Choi. But, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be the main Black Widow suit from the Black Widow film. Uh, maybe it is the arc that makes the difference, but for me, that's the one. 
As for the articulation on the rest of the figure, she can move the arms like this, like this, like this. She can move the ends, the torso moves a little bit. You can move the legs like this, like this, and the feet can move. So now let's see some poses. This new Black Widow figure will be a great addition to your collection. It's a nice change from her usual black suits, plus she has an amazing head sculpt. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, bye!